Cultural appropriation is a concept that has gained considerable attention in recent years, particularly in the fashion industry. It occurs when elements of a minority culture are adopted by members of a dominant culture without proper permission or a deep understanding of their meaning and context. Instead of respectful cultural exchange, cultural appropriation often results in disrespectful or insensitive representations that strip these elements of their original value and meaning. In fashion, cultural appropriation can take various forms, such as the use of sacred religious symbols as fashion accessories, the adoption of traditional clothing for fashion shows out of context, or the commercialization of cultural objects as luxury products. Each of these cases can provoke strong reactions from affected communities who see their traditions and symbols presented superficially and out of context. Let's explore the top five worst cultural appropriation scandals in fashion. One of the most known is the Victoria's Secret and the Native American headdress from 2012. In 2012, Victoria's Secret sparked a major controversy when model Carly Kloss walked the runway during their annual fashion show wearing a Native American headdress. The headdress, a sacred symbol for many Native American tribes, especially those of the Great Plains, was used as a fashion accessory alongside leopard print lingerie and high heels. Historically worn by war chiefs and warriors, feathered headdresses hold deep cultural significance, with each feather earned through acts of compassion or bravery. The reaction from Native American communities and cultural critics was immediate and negative. Many pointed out that the use of this sacred symbol for entertainment and profit shows a profound lack of respect and ignorance of tribal culture and history. Michelle Spotted Elk, a woman of mixed heritage whose husband is Lakota, part of the Sioux tribe, emphasized that headdresses carry both religious and leadership significance and their inappropriate use in a fashion show trivializes their importance. Faced with a wave of criticism, Victoria's Secret issued a public apology, stating that they had no intention of offending anyone and announced that the outfit would not be included in the televised fashion show or in any marketing materials. Carly Kloss also apologized on Twitter, expressing regret that her outfit had unintentionally caused offense. Then, there was the Chanel Boomerang in 2017. Chanel sparked significant controversy by releasing a luxury boomerang as part of its spring-summer collection. This stylized, high-end version of the traditional Australian Aboriginal tool was priced at $1,325 in the United States, which led to a strong backlash on social media. The tool, made of wood and resin, was widely criticized as culturally insensitive and exploitative, especially given its high price and lack of recognition of Aboriginal cultural significance. Outrage quickly followed, with critics accusing Chanel of insensitivity to Australian Aboriginal culture. Activist Nayuka Gori took to Twitter to mock the idea of saving for years to connect with her culture through such an expensive item. Others pointed out that the price of the boomerang was almost 10% of the average annual income of indigenous Australians, highlighting economic inequality and implicit exploitation. In 2015, Dior unveiled a resort collection that incorporated elements inspired by the rich culture of Mexico. The collection featured embroidered dresses and accessories based on traditional Mexican motifs and designs. These items with deep cultural and historical significance were reinterpreted by Dior in its haute couture line without adequate involvement of Mexican designers or artisans. Controversy arose when critics and Mexican communities noted that Dior had used these traditional motifs and elements without proper credit or involvement of Mexican artisans. This act was seen as cultural appropriation, benefiting from Mexico's rich cultural heritage without acknowledging or compensating the communities from which these designs originated. The lack of collaboration with local artisans and the commercial approach to the collection drew criticism for insensitivity and cultural exploitation. Dior's response to the criticism was limited. 
further exacerbating accusations of cultural appropriation. Cultural commentators emphasize the need for greater respect and greater recognition of the cultures from which fashion brands draw inspiration. This incident underscores the importance of collaboration and proper credit in fashion, especially when using culturally significant elements. In 2018, Gucci faced intense controversy for featuring turbans worn by white models during its fall runway show. The turban, a sacred religious symbol in the Sikh community, was used as a fashion accessory, sparking criticism of cultural insensitivity. The Sikh community and other critics pointed out that the use of turbans on white models trivialized and disrespected their religious and cultural significance. In Sikh culture, turbans are not just a piece of clothing, but a symbol of faith and devotion. The commercialization of this item, especially at the high price of $790, was seen as cultural appropriation that ignored and exploited the importance of the turban in Sikh religious life. In response to the negative backlash, Gucci withdrew the turban from some stores and renamed the product on retail platforms such as Nordstrom, changing it from the Indie Full Turban to the Indie Full Head Wrap. Gucci also issued a public apology, which, for obvious reasons, was poorly received. In the spring 2017 runway show, Marc Jacobs sparked controversy by featuring white models wearing colorful dreadlocks. Dreadlocks, which have deep cultural and historical significance to Black communities, were worn by predominantly white models, leading to criticism and accusations of cultural appropriation. Criticism quickly emerged on social media, pointing out that Jacobs was appropriating an important cultural symbol without understanding its context. Dreadlocks are not just a hairstyle, but a symbol of resistance and identity within Black communities. Some also questioned why Jacobs didn't use Black models to showcase the dreadlocks, highlighting the lack of proper representation. Initially, Marc Jacobs responded defensively on Instagram, stating that he found it funny that critics didn't criticize women of color for straightening their hair. He argued that he sees people, not color or race, and that appreciation and inspiration from all sources is a beautiful thing. However, this response was seen as insensitive and dismissive. Under increasing pressure and reflection, Jacobs issued a public apology acknowledging his, quote, lack of sensitivity. Cases of cultural appropriation in fashion have had a profound impact on affected communities, creating feelings of disrespect, misrepresentation, and marginalization. Community leaders and activists have expressed their pain and frustration at the insensitive use of their cultural symbols, underscoring the need for real change. The aforementioned brands have responded with public apologies and pledges to be more culturally sensitive, but actions must go beyond words. The fashion industry needs to reflect on its responsibilities and the importance of genuine, respectful engagement with diverse communities. Only then can we move towards a truly inclusive and respectful fashion industry that celebrates diversity rather than exploiting it. What do you think about these scandals? Do you know of any others? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. See you next time.